open iMovie, go to File, New Finder Window. A new window appears. On the left side of that window, select Applications. Click on iMovie. The program opens. To start a new project, go to File, click New Project. A new window appears. Give a title to your project to the right of Project Name. In the drop-down menu, select your aspect ratio. Select 4-3 for a TV look, or 16 by 9 for a cinematic look. When done, click Create. To import and save video, go to File, Import Movies. Find the folder that holds all of your video clips. Select the clips you want by clicking on them. Below where you highlighted your clips, select where you'd like to save your project in the drop-down menu next to Save To. Beneath that, select Create New Event and give your project a name. You may select Copy or Move Files. Copying will take up more space on your computer, while moving will change the location of your clip. Select Import. The files will now be imported into your iMovie session. On the bottom half of your window, to the right of Event Library, you will see the clips that you imported. On the top half of your window, you will see Project Library. This is where you'll be creating your timeline or movie. To view a clip, select the clip from the event half of your screen. Once the clip is highlighted, hit the space bar to make it play. The red line, also known as the playhead, will move as the clip continues to play. The playhead will automatically move from clip to clip. To trim and place a clip on the timeline, select the clip in the event area. When selecting a clip, a yellow box appears. Use the left side of the box to indicate where the clip will start. Use the right side of the box to indicate where the clip will end. Once the clip is the way you want it, place the mouse arrow over the yellow box until it becomes a hand, and drag it towards the project library. When dragging the clip into the project library screen, a green line will appear. This is used to help you place your clip. In other words, wherever that green line is, that is where you will drop your clip. <music> to view your timeline, if you want to see your clips in the timeline, there are three options. Towards the left side of your screen, above the middle gray bar, there are two play buttons. The left button lets you play your timeline full screen. The right play button plays the timeline in the viewer window. By clicking on part of the timeline and hitting the space bar, the timeline will start to play. To add a video transition, under the viewer, select the button all the way to the right. This button will open the Transitions browser. Next, select which transition you would like to use. Once you've selected a transition, drag it between the two clips you would like to use on the timeline. A green line will appear representing where you are trying to drop the effect. You can change the length of the transition by double-clicking on the transition. A window will appear. You can change the duration of your transition here. To add a title, click on the T button to the left of the Transitions button. Pick what kind of title you'd like. Now place it on the timeline. To add text on top of a clip, drag the type of text you want onto the clip in the timeline. To add the text by itself, drag the text to where you'd like to add it and use the green line that appears to show where it will go. 
You can change the text by clicking on the text bubble in the timeline and change the words in the viewer window. To export, go to Share, Export Movie. Name your file and select where you want to save it. Be sure to have your file's export size set to large. When done, click Export. To export your timeline, go to Share. Click Export using QuickTime. Name your file and choose where you'd like to save it. Select Movie to QuickTime Movie, click Options, and check Prepare for Internet Streaming. Then click Save. Mm -hmm. 